Welcome everybody, VST here of NSP Stacks. Today we are going to review the latest version of Goodlock, which is now going to a version 21022 fixed graphical user interface issues in One UI 4. So we have now a good luck version that supports officially One UI 4, which you know is still in beta, that's the beta 4, and it's based on Android 12. Besides this, there are also some other fancy updates, but I'm going to focus on good luck and some of the modules which also got updated. We have also an updated theme park, now version 1094, One UI 4.0 support. Official theme park support for One UI 4. We know this has been kind of working, right? But hey, it's official right now, user interface improvement and other errors correction. Also, we have a pen up upgrade with also the famous sound assistant update. Version 4.1.0.5 officially compatible now with the One UI 4.0 and also finally Clockface. Version 2.2.3.1.2 available in One UI 4 based on Android 12. So I'm just going to update all of this and show you guys how this works. Let me hit the update all and I'll be back when everything is updated. <laughs> All right, all right, everything installed, guys. So now, without any further ado, I'm giving you the latest good luck officially working and supporting right now One UI 4. I'm gonna open it for the first time on my screen. By the way, you can just see here on the left, this is gonna be the previous version. I just wanna see if there are spot any differences. Right now, since not, we're gonna go here to about where we see that we're using the version 21022. It pretty much looks like the same old good luck. See everything we have in unit. Let's go here to family. Let's check into the family. And we have now new versions from Team Park. We do also have a new version from the One Hand Operation Plus, which now officially applies the One Way 4 wallpaper color theme, uh, which is quite nice actually. So there seems to be a lot of new things inside. But let's start first things first. Let's go and let's just try to test now the clock face. All right, clock face. Okay, um, let's just go to the lock screen and let's just try the test clock face now officially working on the One UI 4.0. As we can see, we have plenty of options by the way. This panel looks quite nice. I think that um, so many options I just see for the first time. This also looks cool. Let's just choose that one. I'm gonna try to apply and I just wanna see how easily this is going to work. Apply clock face, all right. Is it already done? Okay, let me just go back one more time to the lock screen. Okay, let's just go to my lock screen. Oh, hey, and this is a moving animation, right? Quite nice, guys. Uh, I've been doing this video since some time now, and I have been telling people out there not to be mistaken with a, a Samsung fanboy, but really Samsung One UI is perhaps the most advanced mobile operating system offering so many customizations without requiring any root access or any special skills. The only bad thing is that the good luck is somehow regional restricted but we know how to deal with this check some of my other videos there are some patch versions that work everywhere all right so clock face apparently working we can also do the clock face on the always on display let's try to test also setting something fancy on my always on display okay oh let's let's just go for the same preset by the way all right and i'm just going to kill my phone now and yep Always on display. I'm not sure if that's seen, but I, I can see this boy here. Probably just take the phone a bit, right? Yeah, can you see it, guys? This is the same style I have right now uh, um, from my lock screen. I will now go to my lock screen. All right, uh, you know, I, I think I like this one. I'm gonna stay with this one. A lot of people also ask me if Home App is working. Now, I'm not sure, right? And yeah, seems that Home App is still not supported, right? See, it is already installed but we don't have a version that is working right now on Android 12. And as you can see, people are still complaining, so I'm just thinking Home App will hopefully come very, very soon right now, not yet supported. Okay, let's just go here and check the theme park. So theme park has been working before, so I'm not gonna do some heavy testing. This module worked before. I just wanna see uh, if there are like any major changes inside. Pretty much looks the same, maybe a bit more stable. Seems no big changes to me. We have also the Wonderland module, 
right? Wonderland module is also an option for you guys to customize and create your own moving wallpaper. We have the sound assistant, which I think is something really crazy. Now let's just see if we are able to customize the volume panel, okay? So this here is the standard version of my volume rocker. If I click here and go back, you can just see how much more things I can see, you know, Bluetooth and a bit more things like the big speed, the media and the alarms and everything else. And go back, of course, to the customized volume panel. Individual up volumes, you can control the media volume, media manner mode, change step volume. There are plenty of things you can do. One of the best things, by the way, it is so-called Bluetooth metronome, which allows you to set up the audio delay, right? But I've done a dedicated video on this specific model. I'm just gonna do this right now. I just wanna see some of the advanced settings. Okay, advanced settings, alerts to headphones, okay? All of these things you can do with a sound assistant. Let's now also check here the One Hand Operation Plus. For One Hand Operation Plus, we know that you can apply the One Way 4 wallpaper color theme. I want to see how this works. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to switch this on. All right, and now I already have some of the settings activated. All right, so let's see what will happen. Ah, I see what they mean, by the way. Okay, so I have here this specific setting which comes from my One Hand Operation. Uh, and I can actually just see guys everything right now is sorted out according to my color palette now I want to show you guys how you can switch this on and that's actually gonna be our test if I go back here and I for example choose the stock one now everything's gonna go back to stock uh, all my icons here from the quick settings should become again with the stock color I think they're very very recognizable we have this blue and white and if I by the way go back inside you see this helps okay yep that's exactly what we wanted to see so it seems that it's up and running i think yet another great update from samsung to the people using one ui4 i really hope that one ui4 based on android 12 will just arrive soon enough for everybody out there i get a lot of questions when 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 we don't really know we're probably gonna get at least one more beta 5 with hopefully fixing the um over and scrolling effect and of course some new features or bug fixes maybe even beta 6 we don't know guys but i just hope that by christmas time at least the s20 series is gonna get the official one ui4 based on android 12 and with that said guys if you have liked the video don't forget to like it subscribe to the channel guys and please you and your family stay safe with that said we'll see you over and <sighs> bye